hi my viewers my lovely viewers welcome to my channel uh it's quite some time now i want to show you how to install a durable acdc solar fire as you can see we are doing the connection these are two wires flexible wires that you have to put flexible wires during the connection of the dc positive and dc negative as also the second wire is for the remote control make sure you use quality wires because if you don't use quality wire it's not going to click it's considered as the panel of the fan so now we are done with the <coughs> panel connection so we're going to neatly fold it and close the cup yeah so now <coughs> we have done that make sure we tight we're going to tie the cup very well to avoid any shaking so we're going to put the blades that's done with three blades 56 inches uh, blade long so it's enough to give maximum and um, breezy uh, atmosphere if you, are, if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel for beautiful updates and guidelines on solar system installation usage maintenance anything you need to know about solar i'm going to guide you so please kindly subscribe to my channel uh we are now putting the hook as you can see this is the hook we removed a similar fan which is the ac type consumes 65 to 70 watts which is very high you can see that's the fan over there just dropped it Imagine when you have five of these fan, your battery is going to what you're going to is battery is going to suffer. But with this, we have reduced almost fifty, almost seventy percent. Uh, we have caught seventy percent power on the battery, so the battery is going to uh, feel relaxed and work more properly, and it will last longer. As you can see, this is the rating. This one contains 65 watts. Imagine. So only this one 65 watts. While the other one we are installing now is 26 watts. You do see the proportional ratio between them. At uh, this now is this the control, Dura Volt control system. But it's very beautiful. Small but mighty. So this comes with the label guidelines on the wire. We have the DC input and DC output. We have the AC input, AC, the AC live and the AC uh, neutral. Then we have the remote control. This long one, same one is for the remote control. So you can see this is the remote control. It comes with the remote control. So we are we have opened it. We are opening it so that we do the necessary connection. As you can know, with as you can see in the Previously, we've passed the wire through the ceiling, and now this is the outlet where we're installing the control of the fan. So we use two wires, as you can see in the beginning. Now the two wires we are going to connect it to the control. At this junction, you have to be very careful as an installer so that you don't make mistake. Don't mix up anything here. Once you mix up anything, you're going to burn the fan. And this fan presently costs 45k. We just bought it uh, today, which was uh, the 19th of uh, the 20th of April 2024. So you have to be very careful. We've connected the DC positive. That's the red. So I'm going to connect the DC negative. Now that's DC negative. And we're going to connect make sure you put cello tape to avoid bridging so we're going to connect the control to the other wire going to control the remote control so you have to be very careful at this point so that you don't make mistake yeah so be very careful if you are new to my channel, please and please kindly subscribe. Don't pass this video 
without pressing the subscription uh, button i really appreciate thanks so we're connecting okay we've connected the remote control on so we're connecting the live wire and the neutral wire so the live wire make sure you connect the ac input that's the live and the ac neutral properly so that you don't have any issue so we have done that we are connecting the ac neutral now as you can see so that's the ac neutral so we're going to peel it connect it make sure you tight it very properly as you can see and be very careful so that light doesn't strike you as well but if you know you're afraid of light you can always stop the light before you do the work so now we're tightening it tightening it tightening it make sure it's well tight at this point the inverter is going to the fan is going to make a beam sound to show you that it has connected so after this we're going to package it back package all the wire neatly ensure there is enough cello tape so that to avoid bridging so we're going to package it back and neatly clip it to the cover yes you can see we are clipping it directly to the cover yep so it's done now make sure you do a neat work so that the customer will like it and appreciate it and refer you to other customers don't do a sharpie work yes everything is done you can see that the remote that opening is also meant for the remote so i'll use the remote now to on the fan the control can on the fan the remote can on the fan so i've used the remote put it in number five let's see the speed wow see the speed you can imagine it even blows better than the one we removed which is consuming 65 watts i see this one is just consuming 26 watts this is my face for those who have not known the owner of the channel this is my face my humble face somebody who works day and night to ensure that my this customer does not suffer my customers does not suffer i guide them to the best of my ability so that they enjoy their solar system perfectly that they enjoy their money now you can see the fan blowing at the best of its ability and they are enjoying they are going to enjoy their fun enjoying their life so i said if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching bye bye and god bless you